too often in the spring people buy a new pair of running shoes from a big box store and just go for it and start running and while the intention is great weeks later is when they come to us at a line with an injury and they think it's normal because they just started running so they push themselves through it and the injury gets worse or they injure another body part they didn't have the intention when they came to us to run 10 kilometers pain free or shave five minutes off their 5k run time or learn that their running technique is the cause of their knee injury. To us, it's just a standard part of what we do when Align clients come in to have their movement and footwear evaluated and improved. I wish they knew prior that for over a decade, we've been evaluating running biomechanics, helping so many people run better, longer, faster, stronger, and most importantly, safely. Don't lose motivation on your running routine because you got injured going for it. Keep that motivation up and we'll help you reach your best. In this series, Align cl Clinicians are going to give you a glimpse of how to run your best. With years of advanced running gait analysis and gait retraining, I could talk for hours, but I'm not going to bore you with the details of why all the seven phases of the gait cycle or why recording at 240 frames per second with meticulously placed camera angles will give you the best deep dive analysis or how millimeters of change within your footwear can actually shave minutes off your runtime. Instead, our line clinicians are going to break it down in simple terms. First, you need to have a basic understanding of what your body does when you run and learn your running technique. Second, we'll explore how footwear is absolutely critical for you to complement your running technique. And third, we'll guide you through some key exercises that will reduce the risk of injury and allow you to run better. And I'm going to show you how you can identify the four phases of the gait cycle. Let's run. The four phases of gait are your very first one is contact or foot strike. So that's right when your body first makes contact with the ground. So we're going to focus on the right side. Then there's mid stance. This is where all the loading on your whole body is on that one leg and your body is absorbing impact. Then there's toe propulsion where your body is pushing through your extending leg to move your body forward. And then there's a swing and flight phase. So this is where you're suspended in the air, both feet are in the ground, and this right leg is driving forward. just before contact and that's your four phases of gait. Next time you go out for that run, I want you to say it out loud and identify all four phases of gait, foot strike, mid stance, propulsion and swing, and then really understand what your body is doing at that time so that we can deep dive on it at the next video and really understand exactly what your body is doing.